to my channel. I washed my hair and my hair is currently still wet because today on camera I wanted to test the new Musu hair dryer right here. So this is the box that it comes in. I'm gonna show you guys everything in a little bit, but I just wanted to quickly talk about a few things before I unboxed it and used it. So obviously the design looks very similar to the Dyson that most people are familiar with. It is still a little bit different and unique in its own way. It has three buttons here. It also has a magnetic attachment. This one comes with one, one nozzle. I'll show you guys that as well. And unlike the Dyson, it is not hollow inside, but otherwise I would say the specs are very similar. This one has 100,000 RPMs, the size, the weight, very similar in my opinion. I'm not going to talk about the specs or anything that or compare it to anything because I feel like if a product is good, then there's no need to compare it to anything else. The current price for this right now on the Musu website is $149. So it is obviously a pricier uh, hair dryer. The one that I have been using, I've had it for like a decade, super inexpensive, but at the same time, there's just so much new technology out there. And with new technology comes a handful of numerous benefits. This hair dryer was designed with smart heat control technology. So it's supposed to dry your hair quickly without damaging it while maintaining that shine as well. So I wanna see how it performs today. It's gonna be my first time using it. If you have fine thin hair like I do, then you want products that are going to minimize damage. You just wanna minimize damage no matter what kind of hair you have, but especially if you have fine thin hair, I feel like that's like a very important thing. So let's just open it up. The sleeve comes right off and this is the actual box that it comes in. This is their logo and you open it up and inside you will find the beautiful hair dryer right here. So here's a close up. You can see these are the three buttons. This one is wind speed, the wind alternating button and temperature control. So this button right here, it's gonna alternate between hot and cold every five seconds. And then you have the power button right here. Then it has a cord. And as you can tell, it is a very sleek design. Let me take it out of the box. I obviously have already taken it out. I just put it back in for unboxing purposes. I took off like the little plastic piece that was on here. This is the cord. It still has the plastic or the film protectant on it as well. Take that off. And this is what the hair dryer looks like. It is very lightweight, very sleek, gorgeous design in my opinion. Definitely reminds you of the Dyson, I want to say, but I'm not here to compare it to the Dyson. Unlike my traditional hair dryer where the airflow goes through the entire head of the hair dryer and your hair can get caught. The airflow is located here at the bottom. You'll be able to feel it. I don't know what they call it. I think it's called like the air inlet. So your hair is not gonna get caught in the hair dryer. If you want more information, you can go on the website. They have tons of great information. They have FAQs, any questions, concerns, like dimensions and those nitty gritty details. And then also inside the box, you will find the instruction manual, which you can read through the 360 rotating magnetic nozzle that I was talking about. So it comes with one nozzle and it is magnetic. So it will just pop right on. And then it has 360 rotation, comes right off super easy. It's kind of cool. And then you can use this to kind of concentrate the airflow, the heat distribution, wherever you want it. I'm actually gonna be using this today because I feel like it'll be great for the roots. And then it also comes with this little mat right here, kind of like, I guess it's like a silicone heat pad mat. That is what you get when you purchase the hair dryer. Let's actually give it a run and give it a try. This is the power button. So it is a little bit noisy, but it's not as loud as like those traditional um, hair dryers, like the one that I have currently. Once again, this is the wind speed. If you press this button, it's, go it's gonna alternate between hot and cold every five seconds. And then this is the temperature control. So you can make it cold, warm, uh, hot. I believe it has four different settings, if I'm not mistaken. Today's video, I'm gonna press this button right here and use the highest wind speed and see how fast it can blow dry my hair while rotating every five seconds between hot and cold air.
So I turned it off because I wanted to do this half with the alternating wind speed and then this one I'm just gonna do on warm on the highest speed and see the difference. You can definitely see, especially in concept, how that would be much healthier for you here because I have read before that when you're done blow drying, if you're on a warm or hot setting, then kind of go over at the end once it's dry with a cold setting to help minimize any frizz. So I can definitely see how that smart technology can help minimize that frizz. But now I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry just on like the warm setting here the second dot because I don't ever really use I try to avoid like the hottest setting but the option is there if that's something that you want to use I forgot to mention in the beginning that I did already have my usual products in my hair like my root lifter from Monet and a few other products that I use the heat protected spray as well I will say right off the bat just from my first time using it that this has an insane like airflow and for having such a strong airflow I feel like it's not that loud and because of that strong airflow I do feel like it definitely dries your hair much faster the setting that I used the one in the middle is not even the highest heat setting and I could easily blow dry my hair in under five minutes easy for sure obviously I don't have a lot of hair and my hair is very fine and thin but compared to like my other blow dryer especially if you have extensions oh my goodness the tape-ins I feel like this would be great for that I wish I tried this on when I had the tape-ins that would have been a really cool experiment to try but here's a close-up of my hair I do have like a bend in my hair the way that I was holding it I don't ever really use a round brush I just blow dry my hair upward like this that way it gives me volume at the roots, especially since I used a root lifter. The hair definitely feels healthy. And unlike my really old dinosaur of a hair dryer, I have noticed that that one makes my hair really poofy, which is not a bad thing. It obviously goes down with time, but I feel like a lot of that is because the way it blow dries your hair just creates a lot of a frizz and a lot of baby hairs. But with this, it does seem a bit smoother. So this is my first time using it. I don't really like to do first impressions of products because I feel like you definitely get to know a product much better and you have much more to say about it the more that you use it. But I thought for this video, I'd share my first impressions because it's a hair dryer, very easy to use. It is lightweight. I do like this little nozzle right here to help concentrate the heat where I want it or the airflow where I want it. Let me take it off and just see how the airflow is without it. Oh yeah, this is like really powerful. Wow, that is a really, really, really powerful hair dryer. Like the wind speed power on that is insane, ridiculously insane. So I can see how it could cut down on air drying time. So I do think it's a really cool uh, hair dryer so far. Haven't come across any issues. If I do, I usually will try to like write it in the description box or in the comments. It is pricey. I'm not going to lie. It is definitely expensive. It's not as expensive as the Dyson and it seems to have very similar specs in my opinion. Like I went through and tried to compare the two. Obviously it's not exactly the same but they do seem to be very similar and obviously this one is basically half the price but it does only come with one nozzle i do think the dyson has a few more i do feel like with better technology there's a heftier price tag with smarter technology so from the first try i do think that lives up to its name but i guess we'll see as time goes by i love the design super sleek and lightweight would be easy to travel with and definitely packs a punch when it comes to airflow for sure they did send this to me to review and try but there is no monetary compensation or anything like that all opinions and thoughts are generally my own so if anything changes i'll leave it in the description box so i hope you guys enjoy this review of the musu mh10 hair dryer Again, super sleek, amazing airflow. I love the design. I think it's really cool and I do think it's worth checking out if you're looking for a really powerful, um, good quality. I do think they did a good job with the quality on this. So check it out. Let me know your thoughts down below and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos.